How's everybody doing? This is EJ Carry On with the Extreme Entrepreneurship Tour, and I just wanted to contact you because today is the beginning of a four back to back to back to back event for the Extreme Entrepreneurship Tour and myself. I am currently in Shasta, California, about to speak to Shasta County High School, and then tomorrow we're doing a business plan competition for the Sh in the Shasta College Theater, and then I'll be flying and taking a red eye all the way to Missouri to make it to the HOSA State Convention and have students from the health occupation who are interested in being in medicine and nursing and things like that, and then do a four-hour drive to Joplin, Missouri to finish off with a program called Voices, where we do an entire Extreme Entrepreneurship Tour event. We'll have Ryan Everson there and Lauren Malion Bias. It was going to be super awesome. And uh, I just wanted to start, you know, saying, hey, I think people always ask the day in the life of a professional speaker or an entrepreneur. And I thought there was no better time than to share with you probably one of the most busiest times of the year. So I'll get back to you, let you see some of the things. Let's just keep it going. Look forward to seeing you later. You awesome. We are here in the lovely David Marr Theater. Been around since 1927. There's the awesome, uh, let's get a close up, close up of this guy. The awesome Darren, everybody. He works out. But yep, we're about to have 400 high school students in here. Oh, there's the other superstar. Rick Osbrink, everybody. But we're about to have 400 high school kids in here to get them really crazy. So, just letting you guys see what we do. I am. Helps you find a purpose in your life. So the first thing about entrepreneurship, if you're interested in starting your own business, find a problem that you really care about. Become that Spider-Man, the Batman, the superhero of something. If it's world hunger, if it's making something work faster, more efficient, if it's to create a good burger, whatever it is the problem you want to solve, you become the superhero of that problem. Make sense? Yeah. Say, oh yeah. Oh yeah. One, <laughs> two, three. <laughs> Thursday, March 29th. We got a lot of craziness going on as you can tell by the headband. Let me check out, let me show you what's going on out here. What do you have to tell people back at home? Let's rock this today. Exactly. It's gonna be an awesome event. EJ is awesome. We're so happy to have him here in Shasta, California. It's about to get crazy. All right, I'm back. Is the front. Look at these helpers. Use entrepreneurship program. Represent, can we see the, get a zoom in on the Yep I'm Awesome shirt? Look at that right there. Awesome. The great, lovely usher. The radio station is here for today too. Power 94, my boy Cody in the building. Get a little swole patrol. <laughs> Can I get a CrossFit? Oh, I love it. Oh. Hey, this is EJ. Um, just checking in, still on day two of the four day journey. Uh, today went really, really well. Um, we had the YET program business competition. It went extremely well. I'm currently in the San Francisco airport. Uh, waiting on a flight. Unfortunately, my first flight got delayed. I was supposed to take a red eye from Phoenix to St. Louis to get to the HOSA State Convention. And um, it did all I could, got onto another flight, and that one got delayed. Uh, so now I had to speak with the coordinator, and uh, she was very open and very uh, understandable. It's great to work with good people. Uh, but yeah, so. What happened was I had to go from, now I'm going all the way to D.C., getting to D.C. at 7 in the morning and then going to St. Louis. Once I get to St. Louis, I will then drive the rental car to the event and now we switch my morning keynote to the afternoon. 
So we're still going to be able to have a host of event. And then after that, we'll then make it down to the final event, which is in Joplin, Missouri. So um, super cool time. I'm actually posted up by an electrical outlet, hanging out, working on my slides, um, emailing a few people with all the updates. Um, the day in the life of a motivational speaker looks fun, but this is the part they don't tell you about. But this is why you do it, and this is why we love it. All right, I will talk to you guys later. What's going on, everybody? EJ Carry On here. Uh, now on the third day of the four-day journey in St. Louis, Missouri, heading to Washington, Missouri. And uh, the event is, uh, I missed my keynote this morning. Luckily enough, uh, she is uh, very flexible and supportive and under understood the situation. So I'll be speaking on later this afternoon. So right now I'm in my uh, little Fiat right here. Um, got a compact rental car and uh, headed over to uh, Washington, Missouri so I can uh, finish off that conference with a bank. So um, it's been a very interesting night. Uh, spent the night sleeping on a red eye from San Francisco to Washington, D.C. Um, then we went from Washington, D.C. to St. Louis and now driving to the event. So um, excited to do this event. Um, things didn't pan out at the beginning, but I'm excited that we're doing it. So I'll let you guys know and I'll let you guys see some video clips in a minute. Bam! See you guys later. This is Kristen Gray with 50 Hours from Jefferson College. The event went super good. Super awesome. And then we have Cora Roo from Jefferson College with 53 Hours. The event went great. It was awesome. Awesome. Now I'm heading off to Joplin. You are young and at the beginning, and that's a poem, and he sells it on this website. This website is 20 by 20, so he sells this thing for $20. He has a best-selling book on this, and he gives talks on this. So when he first started, he was doing this for years and had no idea how to make money. But he was thinking about the idea, right? Because he created a blog where he showed people how to do this. He's like, man, this is what you do. You get these markers, and I don't want you to sniff the markers because you'll never use them. <laughs> right? So he had to catch up. We're handing back cards, and life is a mess. I take long showers. That's the only time I'm fresh. Sometimes I need to relax. No, is that chill pill. Whining about bad situations like we're stranded with bear girls, about relationships, making a difference in my time because I know my time ends, no second lifeline. So live every day like it could be your last. The world is almost over because so many dreams have crashed. 